Today we're going to take a look at the new 10 inch touchscreen for the primary display on the new CAT D1, D2, and D3. So let's go ahead and turn the key switch on here and take just a few seconds for the display to boot up. But this is an optional display that's available with the ARO, comes with the ARO or attachment ready option automatically or it can be uh, ordered as a separate attachment and comes with the backup camera. Either way. Okay, the nice, one nice new feature about this new display is that the operator can use a passcode to identify the operator for security reasons. So in this case, my passcode is 1234. I'm gonna go ahead and enter that, press the OK button, and you'll see the screen pop up. Now it takes a few minutes for the processor to fully uh, boot up and you'll see the clock continue to run there and that's perfectly normal at startup. But let's look at some of the information that's available to the operator on this new 10 inch color touchscreen. Uh, on the left hand side you'll see we have oil temperature and then right above it engine coolant temperature. On the right hand side we have our fuel level and then to the right of it we have our diff fluid level which we're in good shape there today it's a full tank okay other information that's very helpful to the operator we have our uh, engine rpm that'll be over here on the left we'll see that information when we crank the machine up and then over here on the right the number of hours it's actually are on the machine above the temperature gauges is our slope indicate information on the left hand side we have our main fall slope Main fall means our four to aft slope, which this means I'm pushing uphill at a 3% slope. Over here on the right hand side, I have my cross slope for the surface that the machine is sitting on, and that is 2%, so my water would run to my left if I was when I'm operating this machine. Up above here, we have our menu button right here. Looks like the hamburger typical and also our hour meter reading and then on the left hand side the time of day. So let's press the menu button here and you'll see some things come up and let's go through each one of those. So the first one is our gauge icon. We just looked at that. Then we can go in and use slope assist. If we want to select slope assist we press that icon very intuitive. We say a lot of times if you can use a smartphone you can use this new display and get the machine to use the technology that we have available on the machine. What we're looking at now at the top of the screen is our blade slope indication for main fall which remember is four aft and over here on the right hand side our cross slope which is side to side about a 1.4 cross slope with the water running to the operator's left. When I press the yellow button on the right hand joystick, now you can see icon border lights up to a green tone and you see auto. That means you have activated slope assist and that the control is controlling blade angle and also cross slope. If I raise the blade up, whatever position it moves to, you notice the 4F changed. Okay. Wherever you leave that position, that's where the machine will try to control the blade. Same for cross slope. Okay. So that's basically what the simple or basic mode of slope assist is. I'm going to put the blade back down on the ground, click the yellow button, back to the off position. Now I'm going to go in and show you how you can select some target values to use slope assist. Okay. What I would do is just simply press the icon for cross slope and then I can go in and select whatever my value is that I want to use today for my cross slope. Typically cross slope on a road if I want the water to run off the crown of the road is somewhere around 3 to 4. I'm going to use 4% right there. And then we'll come over here for my main fall and I'm going to pretend that I'm cutting a road that's just going slightly or a slope let's say for a driveway maybe uphill okay so I'm gonna go up and you'll see this change to maybe about 1% in the 4S slope okay now when I press the button 
it is going to activate the system to the target values that I have selected down here at the bottom. 1% main fall and 4% cross slope. Press the button and you'll see it moves the blade to that particular angle and the machine will control the blade to those specific target values to create the slope the operator desires. The interesting thing about this is with slope assist, we are not using any off-board gear. We're only using on-board gear. The machine is using the surface that the track is sitting on as a reference point to create the blade angles that we want to use. Okay. Today we're going to go in and look at some additional features with the slope assist on the new CAT D1, D2, and D3. We have went through and set the target values we wanted to use with slope assist. Let's look at some other things that we can use on the machine. Sometimes you may not have time to go through and actually adjust what those target values may be, but if you have the blade, let's say, in the particular angle that you want to use. Let's say in this case the main fall is 21 uh, percent or almost 22. If you like that value and you want to bring it down and use it as a target value, all you have to do is use this icon right here on the left hand side, triangle pointing down. It will transfer that value that the blade is at into as your target value. Same thing over here for my cross slope. If I like the 2.1% cross slope and I want to use that as my target value, watch the 4% will change to 2.1. So that's a quick little shortcut. Some other nice little shortcuts to know about. If I'm making a push in one direction and I want to turn around and come the other area and I want to reverse my target values for main fall and cross slope, I can do so by just simply pressing the button right below the target value box for either cross slope or main fall. But those are some very nice simple shortcuts that the operator can use uh, when using the slope assist feature on the new CAT D1, D2, and D3. Okay, let's go into the menu right here and take a look at the camera option. Great new camera, very distinct and clear on this machine. If you want to go in and actually look at the camera all of the time, you can do so simply by going into your menu button, selecting camera, and you will be able to see that camera all of the time when you're doing your work. Notice you still have the primary information you need to do your work as far as slope indicate and slope assist over here on the right hand side. Let's take a look at some additional features on the new CAT D1, D2, and D3 in the settings area right here. Let's go in and see what's available to us to choose from. Here we have different selections we can use to control modulation for the implement control valve which controls the blade, also your steering modulation for your left hand joystick and also auto tracks control. These things do not make the blade, for example, move any faster. It just determines how fast the machine will react to the operator's movement of the joystick. So normally it's going to come from the factory in the normal position. If you want to slow it down a little bit, you can press course and go back to the screen. But those are things the operator can do without the use of any off-board computer or service technician. Uh, also steering modulation, same thing. Automatic traction control. This is a feature we have on the new CAT D1, D2, and D3, which is standard equipment. It helps limit track slip, reducing our undercarriage wear, and also making the machine more productive because we're not wasting time spinning the track. However, if you're in a situation and you want to disable that feature, all you have to do is just press the button here on the right-hand side. You'll see an icon come up at the top that notifies you it's off. Key point to remember, when you cut the machine off, it will return back to the default on position when you go back to start the machine. Okay, let's go back and look at some other uh, settings available. We have some slope assist features where I can go in and change uh, the type of slope assist mode that I'm in, whether it's indicate only, basic, or advanced. Okay. Um, also, I have the 
uh, capability to go in and uh, change how much I can increment or decrement my joystick controls on the right hand joystick and the amount of each step there. Uh, some other things that are very helpful, especially with new operators, let's say the display, some things that we can do different to configure the display. We can actually go in and change the type of language we want to use. In this case we have English, which you can go in and uh, put in German, Spanish, whatever uh, language that you uh, are going to be using for the operator. It makes it a lot easier for that operator to use. You can change the brightness of the display. Uh, up and down. As far as night work, a lot of time road jobs these days are done with lights outside uh, during darkness. That's very helpful. You can go in and set the clock and also the night mode right here as I was talking about. That's one you can go in and change. As we're getting more and more used to using different operators, different operating situations, sometimes it is very helpful to be able to identify the operator that's going to be used in the machine that does two things. We can set the machine to operate to their preferences and also we can use that as security to be sure the right person is going to be operating that machine at the right time uh, to prevent any vandalism or whatnot. So we can actually go into that setting and go and set up a new operator as far as change operator, go through the things, give them a passcode and off and running uh, to operate the machine as an individual uh, identifier. Okay, I'll go back to the home screen right now. One last feature we want to talk about here is some of the new grade control modes that we have available. So let's go into our main menu, go back to slope assist here, and as you look at slope assist, you'll notice that we have an icon up here at the very top and it says auto and it has the blade there. We have a feature that's available so whenever the machine is operating in slope assist mode or in your 3D grade control, the machine will sense the load and when it reaches a certain point of where it is the maximum amount of material the machine can push without slipping the track, the machine blade control system will take over and actually lift the blade up some to reduce the load to where the machine can continue on traveling. So the way this would be used if I am in slope assist and let's say I have selected some values for my target value and I start to move forward what will happen whenever my load increases to the point that the machine will start to slip, this little icon up at the very top will light up and let you know that the machine has taken over the control of the blade and is reducing the load so the tractor will remain productive as it travels forward and does not slip the track. Uh, this is available. You do have to have the 3D antennas on the machine that is what is used to measure how fast the machine is traveling. And if you have any questions about what we've talked about today on the Cat Small Boaters, please contact your local cat dealer.